probably heating it up, which probably makes turns it into this. Condensation. Condensation, yeah. So the electricity running through may be producing some heat causes condensation within your chamber. What else do you notice? But it's warm. The gel is they travel. Is warm? What's happening to your gel? They move down there. Yeah, so you can see that straight horizontal line where your dye is. So when we loaded them, we loaded them way back in the wells. So now the wells are empty. And if you look down on the side, you can actually see the wells where we saw those square boxes before have now traveled down through the gel. Is that where the DNA is? No, it's behind, no. It. No, it's behind it. So what we need to do, so it's almost about two-thirds of the way there, so we're, we're going to shut it off shortly. All right, so once it's three-thirds or uh, two-thirds of the way there, we'll shut off the electricity. How do I know that there's still electricity running through? The bubbles. The bubbles. The bubbles. Okay, so once we shut off the electricity, bubbles will stop. Will the DNA continue to travel? No. No. So it needs electricity to travel. Why does it travel with electricity? It's negatively charged. It's negatively charged. Why does it go to the positive end? Opposites attract. Good. All right, so what you can do now, on your battery packs, there is a stop switch. So hit the button where it looks like a stop sign with a hand in the middle. So go ahead and press that. The bubble stopped. Now take a look at your containers. What do you notice? Bubble stopped. Bubble stopped. All right, so making sure that your power supply is completely stopped, shut off the power, which is the black switch on the green battery pack. And then that humming noise should stop. Okay, so what we're going to do is you guys are going to be leaving soon, so I will take those out of um, the chambers. We'll put them in bags and have them soak overnight. When we come back tomorrow, you guys will stain and analyze your gels. Take a look at the, I think we'll all need to get really close here. Maybe if we form a semicircle. 